Zaniacs. I'm Lainey. I'm Marshall. And we're going to talk about a book that came out a couple, maybe two years ago, three years ago. I don't know. Um, and, but it is new to us and we're probably going to be reviewing the entire series. It's called Every Hearted Doorway and it's by Shannon McGuire. I have read the fifth book that came out, I believe it was either this year or last year, called Come Tumbling Down. So to me, uh, I already was familiar with a few of the characters that they talk about in this book and uh, so it was really interesting kind of going back to book one yeah. and being like hmm that makes a lot more sense of what I was reading exactly um, so if you don't know what this series is about uh, it it takes place in a children's boarding school uh, for children who have found doors in their lives that have taken them to another place. Sometimes it's a really pretty magical land, sometimes it's not, uh, but then they are brought back to the real world and they are trying to find their doors back. Most of them want to go back to their other place because they feel like they don't fit in to the real world. So they're all kind of in this school because the lady who's in charge of the school helps, because she herself has had the same experience, basically helps these children work through the agony of not being able to go back to these other worlds. Um, and then that's the basic premise, but the whole storyline in this book is really quite interesting. And now that I've, we both listened to it on audio, now that I have uh, listened to this first book, I now understand almost everything that happens in the fifth book. <laughs> <laughs> um, and I haven't even read books two through four yet. So um, don't skip ahead. <laughs> At the time, I think I reviewed book five and I said, yeah, you're cool. You can read this. You don't need to read the other ones. Ooh, not so fast. <laughs> yeah. You probably should read the first one. <laughs> <laughs> At least and it, I, I haven't read any of the other ones. I just started with this one, and I was already am amazed by it. Um, I love the characters, almost every single one of them, except for like one clickish girl that I didn't really care too much about. Which is um, I was I was halfway expecting her to not make it. Um, there is, however, more of a plot line. Like there's more of a plot line than what we were saying, as this book is a murder mystery. Mm -hmm. um, but, but it's so short. That was my issue. It was my so only short. issue with this book was <sighs> I get I get to the end and I'm like, wait, wait, that's it. No, wait, that's it. The, the book series, like you can tell if you look at the actual books, they're only like this thick. They're not very thick at all. But we both listened to it on audio, and uh, it, I knew it was four hours. I I could see that the book itself was four hours long, and I had some work to do in the afternoon, so I just put it on, and then all of a sudden it was over, and I was like, wait. What? And I was listening to it when I'm like doing my stuff at work at, and like when we're closing and I get to the end and I'm like, wait, wait, I'm still closing. I, I, I need to, I need, where, where's the rest of this book? I need more book. <laughs> I think, I think Marshall is now uh, going to uh, uh, blow through the rest of the series. So I'm just going to let you guys know. Stars. Five stars. I, as well, will give it five. I didn't really find anything wrong with this book at all, except for the fact that it was too short. Yep. That's not really a failing on the part of the author. This is supposed to be more of a young adult mm -hmm. book. So I, I think it's great that it's a little bit smaller. Um, there, are, there are certain things in this book, though, that I am going to say that if you have a child, you should maybe a little bit of caution in letting them read it. Uh, young adult probably is okay, but there are just some things that are a little gross um, in this murder book. Murder mystery. Uh, and not just murder mystery, yeah. but also like there's some darker, gross things that happen in this book when it comes to, um, for example, uh, one of the characters is from the world of the dead. So if that can give you any indication of what might happen in this book, specifically Deed de los Muertos, where yeah. it's all about living dancing skeletons yeah well, let's just start there and let you figure it out <laughs> what's now. happening there but yeah that's basically basically that um so again we really do recommend this book uh, i will leave all the information down below for you and until next time stay zany